in October 2023, the Chinese automobile market continued its robust performance, registering the sale of 2.33 million new cars as the China Passenger Car Association reported. This figure represents a 0.7% increase compared to the previous month and 10.2%. Notably, the market witnessed significant activity in the new energy vehicle, with 195,000 electric vehicles and 272,000 plug-in hybrid electric vehicles finding buyers. NEs accounted for 37.7% of total vehicle sales. Regarding market dominance, BYD emerged as the top performing auto brand in China for the month achieving remarkable sales figures. BYD sold 246,389 vehicles, securing an impressive 12.12% market share. Volkswagen maintained its second place position as the second best selling brand in China, with total sales reaching 198,210 cars. This achievement translated to a 9.75% market share. Toyota secured the third spot, selling 151,003 vehicles, equivalent to a 7.43% market share. Honda closely followed in fourth place with 130,221 vehicles, sold, capturing a 6.41% market share. Geely rounded off the top five, recording sales of 92,770 cars, which accounted for a 4.5-6% market share. BYD C-Line 7 is another B of E in the Ocean series and its appearance comes from the Ocean X concept car. As with other Ocean series vehicles, it was designed by the team led by ex-Audi veteran Wolfgang Egger, current design chief at BYD. It will be interesting to watch how BYD will avoid cannibalization with its other upcoming SUV, the best looking BYD, the Song L presale for 30,000, 200 to 38,000, 400 USD, and Sea Lion 7 is supposed to be positioned under it, so we expect the starting price to be around 190,000 yuan. Previously obtained spy shots of the Sea Lion 7 in partial camo. At that time, BYD didn't confirm the vehicle's name. The EV was expected to launch in 2022, and it isn't clear what caused the delay. Sea Lion 7 is supposed to compete with the Tesla in China. BYD aims to sell 3 million vehicles in 2023 with an optimistic target of 3.6 million. In October, the Shenzhen-based company sold 301,833 NEVs. NEV is a Chinese term for new energy vehicles. BYD ceased production of ICE vehicles in April 2022, focusing only on NEVs. So after the Ocean Series Seal Sedan and Seagull hatchback, we will have a Sea Lion, we will keep an eye on more news about the new Electrix EZUV from BYD. BYD showcased a commanding presence within the Chinese and EV segment, excelling in both the EV and PEEV categories. BYD captured a substantial 27% market share in the Chinese EV market. Impressively, the brand secured an even more significant 41% market share in the PHA EV category. In the pure electric vehicle market, BYD maintained its dominance, selling 133,785 vehicles and securing a notable 27.3% market share. Wooling claimed the second position with 45,087 cars sold, constituting a market share of 9.11%. Aeon secured the third spot with 40,825 vehicles, sold capturing a market share of 8.25%. Tesla and Volkswagen completed the top five list as the best-selling pure electric brands. The first model under BYD's premium, off-road brand, Fang Changbei's Bay of Five, received 10,623 orders since its official start of sale last Thursday, the brand announced on Monday. Fang Changbei is an off-road brand under BYD, and Bay of Five is its first car. It is a plug-in hybrid with 0 to 100 km per hour acceleration in 4.8 seconds and a starting price of 39,800 USD. With Bay 5, BYD demonstrated its ability to control expenses, which is not surprising as its founder and CIO, Wang Chuanfu, is a famous cost cutter. The Bay 5 started Presale in August for 300,000 to 400,000 yuan. However, 
the final sales price is way less 39,800 to 48,400 USD. Besides the price, optional equipment is also cheaper. Upgrading tyres into Michelin or Pirelli with six piston brakes, all-inclusive spare tyre cover, painted wheel arches, and others will cost 13,700 USD. For comparison, Mercedes and BMW charge for the same upgrade between 4,100 to 5,400 USD. Bio 5 is a mid-size SUV built on a DMO platform. It uses a 4,890, 1970 Fenton 2 thumb chassis with a 28 MZM wheelbase. It has an approach and departure angles of 35 and 32 degrees and a 220 mm minimum ground clearance. DMO is the brand's proprietary platform. The plug-in's powertrain is a 4WD two-door electric motors. The front has 200 kilowatt of power and the rear has an additional 285 kilowatt. They are paired with a 1.5 litre turbo engine with 135 kilowatt output. The system has a maximum capacity of 505 kilowatt and peak torque of 760 Nm. It accelerates 0 to 100 km in 4.8 seconds. The FIV has a 31.8 kilo watt hour lithium iron phosphate blade battery that supports 100 kW fast charging from 30% to 80% in 16 minutes. It also features 6 kW external discharge and vehicle to vehicle charging. The vehicle discharge rescue has a maximum power of 2000 kW. The car's total CLTC range is 1200 km. BYD is not a fan of too many screens everywhere, but Fangcheng Bayo seems to be an exception. The vehicle has three large screens, two 12.3s instrument panels for driver and co-pilot, and one large 15.6 central control screen in the middle. Looking at the centre console, you find more BYD style, many physical buttons and two cup holders. Fang Chengbo is BYD's division that produces professional and personalised vehicles, with products covering off-road and track-focused segments. The brand was announced on June 9, 2023. The Bayo 5 is the brand's first model. Fang Cheng Bayo announced two more models, Bayo 3, a compact off-road SUV and Bayo 8, a full-size off-road SUV. The brand's managers also announced first sports cars next year earliest. By launching Bayo 5, BYD completed its multi-brand strategy, and aside from BYD badge products, there are now three premium sub-brands that sell cars, Denza, Fang Cheng Bao, and Yang Wang. We will closely watch how BYD will manage to increase its margins and move up market, which is the main goal behind those new brand launches. Thank you for joining us on this electrifying journey. Don't forget to subscribe to Highway Heavens for more exciting updates on the automotive world and hit that notification bell to stay tuned for our next adventure. Until then, keep your engines running and your curiosity alive.